Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, we will answer the single most important question that has been on every man's mind since the beginning of time. Does being rich as a man automatically generate huge quantities of women into your life? The answer is, you'll have to watch this video from start to finish in order to find out. No, you won't find this information anywhere else on the internet. Welcome to Personal Finance and Dating, based on a blog post originally written by Bowtie Bull in 2015. There are four ways to attract girls. 1. Looks. 2. Social skills, also known as game. 3. Relative status. And 4. Money. That breaks it down quite well. Instead of arguing about which one is more important, in this video we are going to focus on money. You should always work towards maximizing all of your four categories. However, we are going to assume you are at the median in the other three categories. Here is how we'll break down this video into five different parts. Overview of why money matters. Since our viewers are full of intelligent people, you already know why money matters. You can use money to improve your looks. You can use money to hire a social skills coach. You can use money to hire a personal trainer. You can use money to elevate your relative status. Money simply makes life easier. Please take a look at this graph and you'll understand why you should work hard in your 20s. The graph depicts her expectations of your income versus your age. As you get older and older, the amount of money you're expected to have will continue to increase. If you're young, girls do not have high expectations. You're young, broke and hopefully cool and popular. Money doesn't matter much. You simply do the following. 1. Get in incredible shape and join a sports team. 2. Learn how to dress. And 3. Improve your social skills. Since girls do not have high expectations when you're 18 to 22 years old, do not try to use money to get girls. You don't have enough money and they do not care. They are more concerned with you being a cool and attractive person. At 23 the fun begins. For those of you that made the right decisions, the amount of money you're making will help you immensely. If you are making around $150,000 out of college, you're going to have a slight edge over your competition. However, when you start making around $300,000 or more at age 26 to 28, you are now in the top 10% in major cities and life will get significantly easier. In short, when you are young, girls care much less about how much money you make. They care much more about how cool you are, how attractive you are, and lastly how funny and interesting you are. This changes at around age 23. Even if you're still trying to date younger girls, they expect you to have some income. Living at home in your parents' basement is simply not going to cut it. You should have a roommate for the first year or two post-college, but you should go ahead and live on your own by the time you are around 25 years old. Quick calculations for your relative dating market value. Unlike other places on the internet, we are going to break down the income brackets for you in a simple graph. As you can see by the graph, you need to make at least the median income in order to consistently date girls in the 6 to 7 range. If you are extremely good looking or have extremely high status, you can break these rules. But nothing else will help you if you're below the median. If you have incredible social skills but can't even afford to live in a major city, the girl is going to ditch you. A girl who is a solid 7 still has dating options. Girls in the 5 and below range. As mentioned in the graph, who cares? Don't bother practicing game on these girls. Simply avoid them and move on. One day you will black out from partying too much and make a mistake, but do not talk to these girls on purpose. Everyone has a loss somewhere on their dating resume. Girls in the 6 range. A 6 is simply your type, but other people wouldn't be attracted to them. If you like XYZ type look, and she's okay, it usually means she's a 6 to you and a 5 to someone else. This shouldn't matter to you, so simply proceed as normal. She knows she's in the 7 range for most guys and will adjust her expectations accordingly. Notice, girls automatically give themselves one extra point. This means you should generate at least the median income. Girls in the 7 range. Now you're solidly in Q territory. This means the girl knows she's relatively attractive and she will raise her expectations. 
You need to be in decent shape, have decent social skills, and not be socially awkward. More importantly, since this is about money, you should generate at least 1.0 to 1.5 times the median income to consistently get girls in the 7 range. Girls in the 8 range. Competition is heating up aggressively. Just like improvement, dating is not a linear curve. It is an exponential curve. Girls in the 8 range know they are attractive. They are approached all of the time and will raise their standards yet again. You need to be in shape, decent looking, and have solid social skills. You also need to generate serious amounts of cash flow to stay in the 8 range consistently. This means you need to generate at least 3.0 to 4.5 times the median income. It becomes much more complicated at these levels. If you're doing great on all of the other items, looks, status and social skills, you only need to generate about 3 times the median income. Girls in the 9 plus range. Now we are in the upper echelon. Congratulations! Anything in the 9 to 10 range is simply a girl everyone will say is gorgeous. In addition, she is likely your type. Meaning if you're into Latin girls, or if you're into white girls, the lowest they will be called is a 9. A 10 to you may be a Russian blonde, but if another person likes Asian girls she will be a 9. These girls have an incredible amount of options. For all you know, they are already high-end escorts for wealthy men in the nine-figure range. If you want to consistently compete at this level, you need to generate five to ten times the median income. The range gets much wider depending on who you are. One thing is for sure, extremely attractive women have a ton of options, so they will not date men who are average. Anyone who believes otherwise is simply full of it. Good luck splitting a $40 round of drinks with a girl in the 9 range, you'll get paved. In short, you can calculate your worth pretty easily. If you're doing fine in all of the three other categories, and you can generate the median income, you can pick up girls in the 7 range consistently. As long as you have two commas in your bank account, you will always be a 7. This quote isn't really a joke. If you have $1 million generating around 5 to 6% returns, you are making the median household income post-tax, and will have no problem dating sevens. If you're in the seven-figure net worth range and cannot do this, it means you either 1. have serious social issues, 2. are out of shape and are in bad health, or 3. are not spending any of it. The third piece is critical and is the next thing we'll talk about. If she can't experience it, it does not exist. Repeat that phrase over and over again. If a girl cannot experience the money you have, it does not exist in her mind. This is why we continue to hammer down the importance of building a company and building a career in your 20s. If you make $1.2 million a year, but live in an RV located in Alaska, she's not going to care about you. The income requirements are based on money being used. If you generate the median income and use all of it, you will be able to date sevens without much trouble. Location. As you can imagine, the median income requirements are based on your city. In major cities such as New York, San Francisco, Los Angeles and Miami, this is roughly $80,000 to $85,000 gross income. If you are living in a city where the median wage is only $1,000 a month and you can spend $3,000 a month, you're well into the 8 range. Income depends on your location. Everything in life is relative. Net worth can be meaningless. In the extreme case where you are worth $5 million or more, but live in an RV, girls will not care at all. If you are generating $250,000 in disposable income, but spend $1,000 a month, you're not going to get any girls. If you generate $250,000 or more in spendable income, but you are using it all, now you're getting somewhere. Create the experience. This is where being well-rounded will help you immensely. You should have many hobbies. You leverage these hobbies into interesting experiences, which can include the following. 1. Front row tickets to a concert. 2. Tables directly next to the DJ. 3. Large sporting events such as the Mayweather Pacquiao fight. 4. High-end art events. 5. Charity events where you are seen literally giving money away. 6. Nice apartment or condo in the center of the city. 
7. Using a black car service at all times. And 8. Anything else you can think of. If you don't have a personality, then you already know what to do, get out of your comfort zone. No attractive girl is going to enjoy spending her time around a type A boring person. They want excitement and fun. Looking at a 10-year yield curve is nowhere on her list. Boring city, limited upside. This is yet another topic we don't see discussed much. If you live in a city that is boring and does not have much to do, you're limiting your ability to leverage your income. This is absolutely critical. If you get into the three times median income range and find that there is no way to leverage your income, it is time to leave. In addition, the cities with the least to do typically have the least attractive women. You can apply this across countries as well. If you live in the most popular city in country X, you're going to find that there are a lot more forms of entertainment and the high end has high caliber women. Sure there may be rare exceptions to the rule, but we don't know many cities full of attractive women with nothing to do. In short, if she can't experience it, it does not exist. If you are an 8-figure man and spend $1,000 a month, you're not going to obtain any leverage out of your cash flow. Find interesting hobbies and use them to meet the girls you like. If you can spend three times the median income in your city and are not able to meet women, this is a clear sign that one, looks, two, social skills, or three, status, needs to be raised immediately. Something needs to be fixed. That's all for today. This video has been split up into two parts and the second part will be uploaded next week, so make sure to subscribe in order to stay updated, and I'll see you in a week. And in other news, banks are zeros.